Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Cracker's Guide to Minecraft. It has been a while since I've done one of these, but I figured it was a good time to do one because I haven't done one in a while. That's a good reason, right? Are you going to stand behind me the entire time? Hurrying and hurrying. I'm the star of the show, not you. No, not you, me. Me. Ever since Red invited these guys, oops. Dumber. Dumber, what are you doing here? What do you have anyway? Oh, I give you give me an emerald for zombie force. You could be actually useful. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. Oh, are, no, are you? No? You're not joining? You guys are a waste. Anyway, today we're going to be bombarded by villagers who just sit there and open and shut doors. I can do that too. Dumber. Er. Right? No, you're dumb. Dumb. You're dumb and he's dumber. Okay. Already sidetracked. Get through the, okay. Okay. So. Um, I think my original plan was to slaughter all the cows because they keep escaping. Yeah. Get out of here. And, oh my god, look at all the escapees. Look at all of them. Get back here. Uh, the original plan... We're not even going to worry about you guys. You'll come back. The original plan, I think, was to go ahead and do uh, horses and breeding and all that kind of stuff. I even had the chest set up. And then I went ahead and set up my episode tree in Microsoft Word and realized that when I set up episode 17, it was not horse breeding and taming. It was instead something entirely different, something that does come in handy. And if you peek around here, you will see right up there a little testing area that I have concocted, built out of obsidian. And that becomes important because anything that I do that involves explosions could be a problem. Now, this could, this test could kill me. It conceivably could kill me. Yes, there's another little thing in there. I'll get to that in a moment. But this is science, and science demands that we do this. What could we possibly be doing? Well, first off, if you've noticed, there's a flaw when it comes to storage with chests. For instance, um, I need a chest. I probably should have had this ready. Don't mind me. Do, 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 do. There are limitations on what you can do with storage chests. Hold on, I just gotta find them. There we go. You guys will work. As you see, well, right here, you can see, I cannot put a chest. I also cannot put one here. So you cannot put chests next to each other. You can make a double chest, but you can't put another one immediately next to it. And that does create a problem when you end up having a massive amount of storage, especially if you have a lot of cobble for mining and so forth. So how do you how do you get around that? Well, today's guide to Minecraft is all about two distinct items. Trip wires, which have nothing to do with what I was just talking about, and trapped chests. So we're gonna hop open to the handy dandy survival kit, whose contents may vary. And you will see we have the recipe in here and I will plop it on the screen hopefully in a much better manner than I did in the previous episode. I did not like how that came out. It was nice and everything but I did not ultimately like how it came out. So it's an iron get a stick and a wood plank of any type and then that gives you two tripwire hooks. So we'll go ahead and do that right here. So we plop a stick, plop a plank, a piece of iron, and there they are, two tripwire hooks. These have a number of purposes. Let's grab these, and we'll grab some string. One of them is in conjunction with a regular chest. You take a chest with a tripwire hook, and you get a trapped chest. So let's go ahead and put one of you in here. Put one of you in here. And there you have it. You have a trapped chest. Now this comes in handy because unlike with a regular chest, which once you do that, 
See, I can't. I can't. I can't. Oops. That was dumb. Get out of here. However, with the trap chest, you can just keep on going down the line, and it allows you to stack chests consecutively next to each other, which helps tremendously with storage issues. The sun is going down. This could get a little interesting. My sword is exceptionally weak. My helmet is weak. My booties are weak. I am working on enchanting my diamond armor, which will make me feel much better. Oh my gosh, you cows, just shut up! Get away. And let's head over here, because the other purpose behind trap chests and trip wires can be demonstrated over yonder. Now, <laughs> I killed a spider in here, and it's kind of funny how I did it, but get this grass out of the way. As you see, it, it, this isn't very cleverly hidden, to be honest with you. Uh, there are far better ways to do it. You can disguise things a little bit better, but if you peek in there, you'll see them, the trip wires, and these are arms. So what happens when I run up here and I'm not paying attention, I get get shot by my own arrow thank you now you can utilize redstone now the redstone is hidden over here but I'll give you a peek at what I did because it's really simple stuff it just runs from the tripwire hook where it's sitting in the wall all the way around and then I used a repeater to extend the signal because it wasn't going far enough and that allowed me to go ahead and do that now I have set up two because this way if you're running in oh geez oh geez and it's getting dangerous. And it just gets really hectic all of a sudden. Now, if you come over here, you'll see the hit detector box I see you. is a little bit different. Now, you see over here, you don't really see anything. But then right here, you see, and you could faintly, I don't know if you can see it, you can faintly see the wire. Um, this, if you're running, is a hint that something may be amiss somewhere. I don't have any unruly neighbors coming, do I? No, you don't see me yet. Okay. Now, this is going to require me to remember where I put this at when I get there. But if you hit this box, it breaks the tripwire. It'll go off one more time, but it breaks it. And that kind of becomes handy. Let's go ahead. I think think that's where it's at so we're going to put a trap chest down because there's another thing you can do and I will demonstrate this in a moment but nope that's not the right spot lord where did I stick this oh it set that off oh we got company hello you know I should set, um, oh, you're worried about the builders. Okay, I'm going to give this away. Ah, it's right there. See that little nasty surprise? This is the other purpose behind trap chests. Now, uh, let's get these back down here. You stick the chest there. Now, first things first, you can do this, and that'll hint to people that something's amiss. So you don't want to do that. However... Let's go ahead and do that. And you see the slight... Do you care about me too? No? You're worried about the villagers? You know, those villagers do come in handy, don't they? Okay. So you'll see the rim, the, the outline around the front of the chest is slightly a, a slight reddish tint as opposed to this. So if you open this, nothing's going to happen. But if you set the trap chest on top of a block that is on top of... A block. You hear that? We're gonna back up. Kaboom! And that is the end result. So we're gonna go ahead and get this. I'll fix this up later. And that is the other use for trapped chests. You can use those and connect them with redstone. For instance, I could connect the redstone to the trap chest and hook it into the dispenser and probably get shot up to bits and pieces. It's a really neat thing, especially in PvP areas. You can use that in PvP 
Um, if you want to trick people, if you're a map maker and you want to have an occasional trap chest in your map to, to kind of fool people, you can use that. And you will probably end up getting a few people who just run in and not pay attention and open that chest. And if they're not quick and you make the escape route a little challenging, they're not going to escape. Uh, you can use the tripwires either as a mob defense, for instance... If these guys had a little fun, if I could funnel them into an area and put tripwires in with some dispensers nearby, I could probably get most of these guys to take care of themselves. As I mentioned, I had a spider that got trapped up in there and he kept setting off the tripwire and basically shot himself to death. And you can use it in a number of other ways uh, with tripwires and redstone. You can make a number of. Hey, where are you going? Make a number of devious traps that you can use in PvP settings, in mob defense, so on and so forth. So, that I think is pretty much it. Oh, hey, we're having a party. Uh, it really comes in handy, though, the trap chest, I think. Are you paying attention to me? Oh, you love me? Oh, you love me? Oh, you love me? Oh, zombie hugs. Oh, thank you. I love zombie hugs. It really comes in handy, though, in situations like down here. Like, I, this bothers the bejesus out of me that there's these gaps in here. I would rather fill these gaps in with chests and expand my storage. I can do that now because I can make trap chests. And I have plenty of materials to do. I have plenty of iron. And I can have pl I can make plenty of chests that I can go ahead and do with, with once I harvest enough trees. Because apparently I am not harvesting enough wood in this world. If you look in here... Blah, blah, blah there not a whole lot there and that is just the simple truth of the matter now um, you want to be careful with trap chests because if you do a lot of redstone stuff and you get a trap chest too close to redstone you could inadvertently set a few things off so keep that in mind when setting that up but other than that you really shouldn't have to worry too much about it like I said it'll help you with storage especially if you end up collecting a lot of cobble and a lot of dirt and you just end up with a ton of resources. It'll allow you to it'll allow you to make your own chest for all these and not take up a ton of space. It's really, really handy for storage. And I think we've covered it. I'm going to go ahead and slide this down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we've pretty much covered everything we need to cover in this episode of Cracker's Guide to Minecraft. Now, in the next episode, we will get into a different mode of transportation you're not down here are you no okay a different mode of transportation and or way to move things around yeah we're going to get into mine carts and railways because you don't need them but they certainly do help in certain in certain circumstances so it doesn't hurt to know how to make them and how to make them powered and all kinds of stuff so we're going to do that next time on crackers guide to minecraft i thank you for watching Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions or feedback, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I will talk to you all next time. See ya.